Artpack City focuses on art in New York City specifically. Artpack is a euphemism for fan, so really it, it means art fan city. When I made that name, there was something about it that was meant to be bombastic. You were saying it in jest because nobody goes around calling people fags. I got immersed in the world of art um, outside of New York um, and in Canada by going to art school. I decided that I was going to be um, an artist. My blog is a result of failure in pretty much every other field. I've been fired from every gallery job I'd had. And there are a couple reasons for that. One, gallery owners are crazy. Uh, but two, um, I was not very good at it. One thing that I was exceptionally good at was writing cover letters that explained how amazing I was at administration. I don't know that I knew that I was a great writer because I was able to get jobs I probably shouldn't have had, but I knew that I had like some skill. In 2004, um, mostly through desperation, I had kept a personal blog. One of the writers that I um, went out on a date with suggested that I, um, that I start an art blog, and it would be the tell-all art blog of the world, very Wonkat-ish. Everybody, you know, was really sort of sick of the state of the art world. So I thought, oh yeah, you know, I'll expose the art world for what it was. And I thought I would do so anonymously. But it turned out to be an idea that was untenable because, of course, you can't really get anybody to talk to you if you say you're from an anonymous blog. The most important early post I wrote was gallery goer asked the question, what is this shit? That was actually a core concern, like what, what are we doing when we look at things? The mandate of Artpag City is really to um, you know, support emerging art and uh, support the people who are really doing a lot of the, the heavy work in terms of getting underknown artists recognized. Right now, a lot of that is happening in, um, in the Lower East Side. This is what Art Fag City is about. It's about holding opinions, even when they're kind of scary.